G'day. Welcome to number two. Um, today we'll get back to site there and we'll um, get those joists up. I'll, um, I'm going to be chucking some paint on them too, so I'll just have to wait for all that to dry. Um, so it will just be a little, might drop back and do some other things, but that will be the main thing. Get those joists up, maybe some decking boards down. Um, and yeah, I thought I'd talk about what I do exactly. And so I'm a, I'm a carpenter by trade. Um, last two years I've just started working for myself. Getting up to about two years now. And I pretty much have only just worked directly for clients. I haven't worked for, I worked for a builder once for a week, just for an in-between job. But um, I, uh, otherwise I'll just work directly for clients, doing a bit of really everything to be honest. Like, decks, doors, roofing, um, done a carport, internal works, just external works, cladding, so super variety. Some jobs are super small, some jobs are pretty big. And um, yeah, it's kept me busy at the moment. At the moment, it's pretty, pretty busy out there, so I'm able to keep with that. And um, I started off just with, here in Queensland, in Brisbane, you know, have uh, contractor's license to work direct for clients. Now I had my carpenters just to start with and then I found out that we have a bit of limitations with what we can do not being a builder. So I have gone out and I've got nine other licensed classes. Some of them I was eligible straight away for just being a carpenter but two of them, my waterproofing which was a six day course which I'd highly recommend. Did that through Master Builders that was really good learnt more than, I haven't really actually, I've done one job, waterproofing job for a client and I don't think I'd actually do it myself that often, it's just good to have the knowledge because it's definitely a skill, um, but good to have in the back pocket and I also went out and did my concreters which just involved doing um, prior, prior knowledge, so just showing proof that I can do what i got to do rather than having to do another whole four year apprenticeship which is good. So now I've, I've got a client that wants concrete slab done, driveway, I can um, jump on that. But again, I personally wouldn't be laying the concrete, but I'm able to put that in my quotes and, and um, source out another concrete to do the work, so which is pretty handy. But, but yeah, that's kind of a little bit of what I do and stuff. So this is uh, day two of me vlogs and keep up with what I'm up to all the time. And yeah, I'll see you on site. So I'm just going to start off putting that, getting that joist cut and then I'll paint it because the top of this bearer needs some paint. That joist there is ready to go for up there, put some paint on it so it can set, um, dry and then I'll cut all that up, put some sticker in those little gaps there, make sure that's all watertight. Also trying to chuck up a time lapse with every video so I thought this one might be a good shot of me chucking all these joists in today hopefully. So one thing I always try and do with any products that have a bit of a shelf life, I always chuck on there straight away when it's going to go off. So they reckon, it doesn't actually say on the packets for these, but if you look it up online, these only have a shelf life of six months once open. So October 23, chuck it out, it's, it's no good. Uh, just painting these joists, um, just an undercoat. These are H3 MPG 10 and with it being a H3 product, it's got about 25 year life expectancy as long as it's all in the right areas, not in the ground and stuff. But chuck this paint on and you always got a coat of paint on and it'll just last forever. Paint skin, paint will protect it. It's just another form of barrier, but yeah. So just put sticker in where these old joists were. Um, not only help for water, but just vermin proof too. Um, I'm not going to be able to get my joists in there, so I'm just going to um, fix it with M12 uh, threaded rod with chem set on the end. So and then this, so this will all get covered. But now it's more waterproof and um, good for insects as well. Do the same down there. So putting on some down course on the back of the joys where it's gonna butt up against that brick so it doesn't sweat and then moisture gets in it and then 
fasten the process of it uh, of decaying. Just shooting with me Pazolo and one of my grub screws just snapped. Right there, that one there. I was shooting into the um, water. So I've always done that before, just you know, to tack it there for the time being. But I reckon maybe just a bit strong. And it's bounced back and just snapped that grub screw. Bugger. So I'm just straightening this bearer here. Dodger blocks in the end, and I've got a fair bit there, you can see. So it's a bit much to push, so I'm gonna have to set something up, work it out. And a little contraption, and it's uh, done the trick there. It's a little bit more, so we'll bounce back. So the old joists are up here, were 90 mil thick. Um, I went ahead and just got 140s because over 1200 um, they got to go up a size above 90 mil and I've got 1270 so it's 70 mil so what I've done is gone 140 but to keep that height there consistent that step I'm going to cut these down 90 mil so I've still got the 140 this is no worries because it's within 70 mil for the span table but I was cutting it with my saw there, but I just don't like the inconsistency, so inconsistency, so I'm gonna set up the table saw, zip it through there, that way every one of those joists that are gonna sit on that ribbon plate there will be consistent at 90 mil. Big green shed. those joists up um, it's just getting to the end of the day and I want to make sure I'm gonna try and get some paper back in there so no birds get in there and start making nests on me tonight um, I also cut that one short in there so I just got to cut another one for that and this one here just the way that it worked with these pipes and where that joist is from there to there I'm under 450 centers so if I just add one onto the side of this one then I'll get me to my 450 centers because I don't think I've mentioned yet that putting down eco deck so requires 450 centers for my joist so make sure we get that that'll uh, do it for the night Keep all the vermin out. sitting in silence so I had to chat on the video but um so it's a bit of a better of an angle than what it is now it's just sitting on the old phone holder but uh yeah another day done I've got these so this bloody jaw thing so I had a broken jaw so I, the doctor yesterday said that I had to um there was three options I either have, have surgery put a plate in it um, or put some stuff on my teeth with some rubber bands and I assume that's just to keep the teeth lined up because that's what they were mainly worried about was the um, teeth but um, or the other option was just just not to chew for six weeks so I've got to chuck all my dinner in a blender and blend it up and eat out of that but um, well that was noisy but uh, yeah so it's not too bad but yeah um, but yeah it's the second one done so 2x did one, now I've done two. Be cool to always keep knocking off the two X's, so the next two X will be four in a row, and then the next one will be eight. 
then they'll start, you know, all of a sudden it'll be 128, so see if I can do it, but yeah. Catch you on the next one.